Hi, everybody. Dr. Charles Chaffin here with three minutes on managing email without it managing you. So when we work with organizations who want to become more productive and creative, one of the things that always comes up, whether we do a survey or we do meetings with senior leadership, is email. And we know why. 28% of our time on average nationally is spent sending and receiving emails. And employees check their email 11 times per hour with 84% of the workforce keeping their email inbox open throughout the day, which brings in this whole idea of vigilance, right? And vigilance is cognitively ta uh, taxing for us. So think about TSA checkpoints in airports. You might notice when you're going through that the employees are constantly rotating and changing positions. And one of the reasons for that is this idea of vigilance. You know, looking at those monitors and checking those bags can be really, really tiring. So they constantly rotate. If we're constantly exhibiting vigilance on our email inbox, that's tiring for us too. And it's taking away resources from our work. We know that if we're focused on a task and we're interrupted, it could take upwards of 20 minutes for us to get back on focus from where we were before we were interrupted, which can really, really add up. So for leaders, the whole notion of email is actually even more significant. So there's a great study out of Michigan State that looked at the effects of email on leaders. And what it found was that leaders that were dove into their email inbox tended to have less leadership skills than those who didn't. They weren't focused on strategy or goal setting or even giving feedback to employees. They became very granular because they're, they're dove into that email inbox. So one of the questions that always comes up is, well, should we email that prospect or client, or should we just meet with them in person? And there are great data on that. So face-to-face -face meetings are found to be 34 times more effective than just sending an email. And that could be a Zoom meeting or it could be in person. And lots of reasons for that. One of those is that you have the attention of the client or the prospect. You can read their body language and whatnot. And now with all these tools that we have, relative to video conferencing, it doesn't have to be an hour or even a half an hour. It can be a quick check-in of 15 minutes that could be much more effective than just sending one more email that can get lost in an inbox. So what can we do? Well, we can set aside time to focus on emails and then shut it off. Even if we put it in our calendar for 30 minutes that this is email time, and then we take, then we get rid of it and focus on being more creative and productive. Managers need to model that behavior and focus on strategy and whatnot. And then finally, when we're thinking about sending out another email, maybe we need to meet face-to-face -face instead. You can visit me at charles at charleschafin.com where we're doing consulting and workshops and the prolific badge coming soon that's going to focus on our workforce becoming much more productive and creative. Have a good day.